welcome to this video. Up until now, we have studied the following methods of solving linear equations in two variables, the graphical method and the substitution method. Now, as we move forward, we'll study another algebraic method of solving a pair of linear equations in two variables and this method is called the elimination method. Let's look at the linear equation in two variables made by Rahul again. Today, we will help Rahul in finding out the number of balloons and ice creams. First of all, let's make the coefficient value of any one of the variables x or y same in both the equations. For doing so, we multiply either of the equations or both of them by a non-zero constant and add or subtract them. You can see that it will be easier to multiply a constant in equation 1 because here the coefficient is 1 for both the variables. In equation 2, the coefficient of x is 3. Hence, in order to make the coefficient value of x equal in both equations, we will multiply equation 1 by 3. Can you multiply equation 1 by 3? Excellent! After multiplying by 3, we get 3x plus 3y is equal to 57 which can be represented as the equation 3. Now, in order to eliminate x, let's subtract equation 3 from 2. Can you tell why we have subtracted these equations? Correct! If the sign of the variable which is to be eliminated in both the equations is the same that is positive or negative, then we subtract one equation from the other and if the signs are different, then we add both the equations. This eliminates one variable and gives a linear equation in one variable only. Solving further, we get y is equal to 12. Now, we need to replace this value of y in any of the given equations. Let's replace this value of y in equation 1. Solving further, we get x is equal to 7. Therefore, Rahul bought 7 balloons and 12 ice creams. Here, to solve a pair of linear equations in two variables, we eliminated one variable and found an equation in terms of the other variable. This is why this method is called the elimination method. In today's video, we learned how to solve a pair of linear equations in two variables by the elimination method. In the next video, we will look at some examples based on this method. 